fancy doing some gardening. The sun was out and it needed a tidy up. At last I had a day to myself and I thought, I'll crack on with it. I made a start, doing the dutiful thing and putting the rubbish in the green bin for recycling. I started working towards the border in the back. I hadn't been out there for ages and it, it was a bit overgrown. I suddenly noticed that my treasured sunflower had disappeared. I'd planted it in a lovely spot and was hoping it was going to be extra special, you know, grow really tall. I then noticed my rose next to it was missing. Well, the sunflower hadn't really grown much yet and I'd cut the rose back so I didn't realise they were missing. We'd had the rose since we moved in and they are, uh, were, both in a great position. But that isn't the whole story. I could see that what had actually happened was the neighbour had dug them out and was clearly going to replace them with a fence on the border. I eventually found my sunflower chucked against the ivy in, near the shed. She'd obviously just thrown it with no regard, but no sign of my rose. The fence may have been a nice addition to their wonderful patio area with exclusive barbecue, but what about my rose? We've had some disputes over the time. You know, over bins, parking, borders, the usual, but not digging up my favourite rose. Now, do I knock on the door and tackle her about it? And if I do that, I risk losing my invitation to the barbecue. If I leave it, I have to stew and hold a grudge. Well, I'd had enough. So, I tried to tear out the square post she'd put in ready for the beloved fence. Well, she'd actually concreted them in already. And I went flying, flat on my face into the mud. I'll get her back though. I want my rose back. <laughs>